<laughs> Order the car! I shall end thee! What happened and fucking tell me? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Yeah. What would you think if I were to tell you that there's a game out there that makes you instinctively join suicidal cults whilst wearing leather tight tunics? You'd probably say something along the lines of fuck off or why are you talking about this at work? Understandable too. But I'm here to convince you that this is the best way to play Mordhau. Don't believe me? <laughs> well then. On day one I decided to log into the server using some generic knight looking fellow. Considering that most of my other characters look like they decided to play professional rugby with the school bus, it seemed like the inappropriate decision. I entered Vitoria hopeful of having a smooth transition into the RP lifestyle and that people might even guide me a bit. I was wrong. But I digress. I was going to give this a solid try, and so I walked over to the main square to see what was up over there. Upon arrival, I immediately formed a group with a few renegades that I would later consider my friends. Meet Chester and Olog the Friendly Ogre. Olog refused to do any fighting whatsoever, which seems to be a reoccurring theme for ogres on this server, and also would draw the attention of anyone basically with a weapon in hand to punch his fucking lights out. Jester was just straight up suicidal from the moment we met for some reason, and kept asking me to end it all for him, for he could not bear the thought of anything happening to Olog. Kill me. Uh, that can be arranged, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sad. Oak girl, wonder why you sad. Tell him. I think it was dropped on his head as a child. And <laughs> as an adult. No. Okorg not want you die. Take me a while he lock me up. What exactly is wrong with you? And when we had finally concluded our therapy sessions with Jester and made sure that he didn't want to die any longer, we ventured forth and captured our own key. And many more people eventually showed up to join our merry gang. It had occurred to me that by now we had the numbers on our side and with nothing else to do for the moment we decided to leave our post and launch an attack on Vitoria itself because why not? Upon arriving at the city itself, I've noticed that there's hardly any guardsmen left. Which was weird, but it was quite late after all, so it was probably fine. I, however, am an opportunist. When I smell the sweet scent of overthrowing established governments with no repercussions to myself, I tend to take it. So when our merry gang had arrived at the marketplace with swords in hand and found it empty, I assumed a position of leadership for myself and took command. We seem to be the majority. Yes. All right, lads, this is it. To the keep. My first order of business was to lay siege to the main fortress where the last few royal guardsmen were hiding at. My aim was to besiege and occupy the fortress and kick out the last few royal family members or whoever was in there residing out of my city. However. It appeared as if they had noticed our arrival and had shut the doors. No matter for us, however, for we have specialists in our team. Meet Homero, our scout and assassin. He claimed to be able to fit through any hall. I didn't ask any obvious questions about that remark because I didn't want to know the answer to the rest of the story. And he claimed to be able to find his way into the castle via less convenient ways. And thus I ordered him to do so. I gave Jester the task of trying to convince the royal guardsmen to kill themselves, seeing as how that seems to be his area of expertise. Olog was ordered to try and barge down the door with a massive sledgehammer. It seems that, for all his wishes of staying neutral during any fight, wooden structures did not meet that description, and he went full ballistic on it. And I myself decided to look around the back for any small entrances that might yet be uncovered. Unfortunately for us, however, apparently our elite scout got caught trying to fit through a window far too small for him. Olog did not have the strength to barge down a massive door. And a few guardsmen had noticed me sneaking all about the place in full metal armor, which makes a lot of sound, apparently. And instead of going for the royal guardsman, Jester tried killing himself. Which surprised 
no one. Either way, these were only minor setbacks. We were determined to capture this keep one way or another. While discussing new strategies on how to tackle this beast, however, we were interrupted by a member of one of the higher ranking clans on the server. The clan in question was fiercely loyal to the king's family and royal guards. The clan in question had been notified that some circus troop was trying to barge down the fortress's front door <laughs> and thus they had to log into the game in the middle of the night to resolve our mess. The clan in question was pissed. So, threats were made to dispose of us in a swiftly manner. <laughs> I, however, am not to be trifled with once I get the give me all your stuff juices going. And so I politely told him to get lost. After this business was concluded, we tried multiple other strategies to take the fortress. None of them proved fruitful, however. And on top of that, the server eventually crashed. When we tried logging back in, it would seem that the majority of our band of renegades had lost faith in our ability to conquer this land and decided to log off. Which was quite sad to me, because I want castle. Jester decided to say his goodbyes in the only fashion in which he was familiar, which is... <laughs> depressed. Sorry. For everything. Oh my god. Olog I never saw again, and after which I decided to log off myself as well. Day 1 had proven to be quite entertaining, yet I would not conclude my experiment until I had experienced everything the server has to offer. So, when on day 2 I logged into the server, I was determined to join some kind of already stationed group or clan that could enhance my time here. Lo and behold, after walking towards the town square, I was immediately approached by a high-ranking officer of some strange cult that I had never seen before. Hello, good sir. Uh, hi. Can I interest you in joining the Chaos Legion and serving the Dark Lords? Define Dark Lords. Dark Gods. Like me. Who are the Dark Gods? Ornirgo Malist Sinch Slanish. Melissa. Blood for the blood guard and all that. Yay. Sure, I'll join a cult, a sophisticated group of individuals. How do I join? Well, you have to give all of your pure blood to corn. What? That's not too bad. And let his touch overwhelm you. Clearly, I was in the exact right place to be. I signed up to join a cult looking people, donned my new set of tight leathery gear and I followed my new leader into whatever he was planning to do at the time. Ooh. Go away! But I want to be in there. You don't. But I do though. Keep wanting. On whose authority do you have these orders then? Mine. Well, what if I don't respect your authority? Not my problem. <laughs> it's about to be. Alright, finally. Now let's open this door. Help Krug. Sup, little man. What the hell now again? <laughs> what is that in the corner? That's another ogre, I think. Hey, tell Krog that number F aren't real! What? Is this man threatening you, Krog? Krog, don't let them trick you. Is he threatening you? No. Alright. Krog, you okay? Krog is good! Get out of my house. Your house? Who are you, exactly? Don't lie. This isn't your house. I am a mariner on the HMS Cotton. Okay, where's your ship then, crewmate? In the harbor. It's a trick. I don't believe him. Me neither. I think that Krog is his prisoner. It's called the Rooster Richard Fine. Krog, do you wish to leave? Krog is fine. Hmm. Mean people like you try to trick him. Mama Krog would smash mean people. Here is the mean people. Are <laughs> you referring to us, Nave? But Bob is Cruz's friend. Time to vanish. He's not your friend. I don't like where this is going. He lies, Krug. He's lying. Too many people getting claustrophobic. <laughs> it's time. Damn you, William. For you to enter afterlife. Damn you and your numbers. 
All right, fellas, let's get a move on then. <laughs> Krog! Your demon has been dealt with. Just confused, where is Winothan? He is in a better place now. <laughs> that nice! That's nice. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Well, I guess that's how you get away with murder, folks. <laughs> well, that about wraps it up for day one and two. Stay tuned for the next episode, where I follow my clan's leader, ignoring just about every regulation within the Geneva Convention. This video took a damned load of time recording and editing. I hope that's noticeable. Uh, I really did my best on this one. Uh, I've had an absolute blast doing so too. And if you'd like, do please show your support with a comment and maybe subscribe even. It really would make my day. Uh, especially the comments, that because I would love to have some interaction with you guys uh, whilst I'm recording the videos. It would really make my day. Either way, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Cheerio.